The challenges that we face as human beings in the immediate future and the long-term future are not what we really have planned for. Not prepping with the best practical purposes and strategies, you will risk not being ready with your preps and supplies when your family will need it. When the time has come that it is too late to prepare anymore, what will you do? When it is up to you and your supplies and your preps that you have put up, that you will have to take a stand in this world in a time of crisis and chaos. The food supply shortage and your regular supplies that you are not finding on the shelves depending on the area that you live in, in this country, on top of all the higher prices that is costing you on a weekly basis to do your shopping for you and your family is getting a little bit out of control, correct? With the inflation rate at a whopping 7.87%, it is really crippling a lot of families out there. And they're having to make really hard decisions on how they're going to survive and supply for their families. A lot of people are having to run up their credit cards at this point in order to supply food and basic necessities to their families because they no longer have the cash to do it with. Which, if you think about it, is creating a whole nother problem in this country on top of everything else that is taking place. A lot of folks out here in this community on my channel they are reporting that they're not seeing anything. No type of food shortages at all in their areas. And they're not seeing any type of um, empty shelves, anything else. And then there's a lot of people on here that are also commenting, which I think is more than the latter, on this channel that, you know, they're seeing a ton of the same thing that I've been reporting, exactly what I've been saying and everything else throughout this country and people have been posting that on several different videos, what states they're in and what is taking place, what they're seeing. You know, I know a, a lot of people are saying that the back rooms are stocked full and it's because of shortages of staff that they cannot keep the shelves full, which I totally understand. And when in all reality, basically what a lot of these stores are doing, I'm not gonna name any stores, but what they are doing is downsizing if you haven't noticed folks you might have noticed this in some a lot of your stores out there all right now to downsize remember that means they reduce their SKU numbers that they have or reduce the number of facing row products you know when you go into the store there's a facing row how many are there you know how wide how deep what's in it you know that's what they have and they're shrinking those down and what they're doing is, all right, and it, this is the funny thing, folks. They want you to think and believe that it's just a, another reset of the store or remodeling. All right, that's the other good one, the remodeling part. But really, it's only the way that they can fool us into thinking the stores are full is by shrinking things down, moving things around and using end caps and all this kind of stuff that a lot of people have been talking about and seeing. Let me give you an example of my store, all right? They moved the bread section, all right? Used to be two rows of a certain type of bread that I bought. Now it's one row, all right? They're filling it in with the bread that a lot of people don't want, all right? Sugar and flour, another example for you folks. All right, that was reduced probably from a four or six foot section down to this little two foot section now. All right, just so that they can show that it's full. All right, I mean, and a lot of my videos on food shortages have been showing you this and we've been talking about this for a long time now, folks. So here is where things are starting to get worse if you have to really sit back and, and think about this and what I'm about to say. And let's talk about what's taking place in China right now. 
unfortunately, as I've stated in several different videos, this is where we get a lot of our goods and services from is China. Whether we like it or not, it's a fact. It's a fact of life, folks, because we don't make products and things in this country. So this is what we're stuck with. The governments, the top CEOs of companies have put us into this um, boat. And um, it's not a very fun boat ride. As China contends with its biggest COVID outbreak since the start of the pandemic with harsh lockdowns, quarantine measures, you know, in Shanghai, there's what, 25 million people. It's the China's largest manufacturing and port hubs is under a indefinite citywide lockdown with no end in sight. And that should scare the heck out of a lot of people out there. Really, folks. Which means, basically, if you want me to explain it to you, there are no goods that are being processed, that are being made, that are being loaded on ships, and being sent to other parts of the world. We are still trying to play catch up from the backlog of ships that we are, are setting off our ports off the East Coast, West Coast, and in the Gulf of Mexico. We haven't totally caught up on that. Yes, they are making strides because nothing's coming in. So it's very easy to catch up when the end of the line is the end of the line. Get what I'm saying? Adding more to this problem of not being able to get goods to all the stores that need them, yes, their back rooms are full at this point in time. But listen to me, folks, a lot of these goods that they do have have been something that was already back ordered from last year that they're just getting now and now they're being able to get them out on the floor and fill the shelves. So think about this. There's a lot of people that have commented on this channel that have said that their best buy dates is only till next year. That's because it's last year's product. See what I'm saying? They're putting it on the shelf now. It's supposed to be on the shelf last year you just lost a whole year of it being able to be sold. So that's why it says only 2023. Understood? Now, I'm not disputing anything on the fact that there could be shortages of workers, which is causing it a harder time for a lot of these stores and companies to keep, you know, everything stocked on the floors and everything else. But you have to agree that the amount of space that is being used for certain products in the store is shrinking because they see something coming. They see something coming, folks, and it's called more shortages. The leaders of this country and the, the high top officials and CEOs of all these big corporations don't really seem to care too much about what is going on and what this is doing to the American people or on a more global standpoint, people in general. All they're worried about is their profits. It's called the great American dream. And the problem is you have to be asleep to believe it. We as preppers have to be ready to weather the storm. They are creating the food shortages, they're creating the supply chain issues and the supply chain issues, the supply chain issues are only going to be getting worse. They have not slacked up, folks. Do not let your guard down. You need to be doing whatever you can be doing and be ready to prepare and be able to adapt to the corporate greed that is going to take place upon us people. And you have to be able to survive it for you and your family. The global food market and the global food supply chain has been devastated by what has been taking place around the world. Wars, famines, droughts, and all these countries. If things do not correct themselves, if things do not get back to normal, if there is a such thing as normal anymore, we could be facing a loss of up to 50% of the world's population in the years to come because of food shortages will grow so intense throughout the world and here in America if the leaders of this world 
do not do something to correct this global problem. So that is why it is so important for you to be prepping for you and your family because you need to be able to ride out as much as this storm as possible. If you're new to this channel, my name is Charles and I am Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I'd like to thank you for joining me on this video today. I'd also like to thank you for all the likes, subscribes, and for sharing this, these videos to all your friends and families and loved ones. For everything that you have done to make this a great channel, so until next time, folks, I'll catch you all on the flip side.